There are certain topics most of us choose not to talk about, though we should. We may not know enough about these topics or may even fear these discussions. Brain death is one of them. Let's talk about it. Brain death happens quite rarely. The chance of dying by brain death is very little. Out of 100 deaths in hospitals, brain death happens only once. Many people are confused about it, but brain death is not equal to coma. Coma or unconsciousness can be the symptom of various nervous system disorders and many times it is temporary. In case of coma, the brain stem responsible for coordinating organ functions works properly. The whole of the brain is not damaged, so depending on the causes of coma, recovery might be possible. However, in case of brain death, the person is not only unconscious, but there are certain signs of irreversible necrosis of the brain. So, brain death is death. There is no way back from it. But how do we know for sure that the brain dead person is dead? It is especially important to talk about this because a brain dead person still has a heartbeat for a while, which can cause doubts. What happens to the brain in such a case and why? The cause of brain death is the cessation of perfusion to the brain. The brain is located inside the skull. If because of an accident, cerebral incident, or permanent hypoxia, the brain suffers damage. It begins to swell up, but the bones in the cranium impede its growth after a while. Accordingly, the brain pressure grows continuously. When the pressure in the brain gets higher than the blood pressure because of the swelling, no more blood can get into the brain. So, brain cells without oxygen and nutrients start to necrose irreversibly. The brain dies. At this time, the part of the brain that is responsible for the coordination of organ functions and keeping contact with the outside world, the brainstem, dies too. However, the heart still beats and pumps blood towards the other organs. The brain dead cannot breathe on their own, so this state can only be upheld unattended for a couple of minutes, and after that, without oxygen, the heart stops beating. The missing breathing can be replaced temporarily with a respirator, so oxygen can reach the brain dead's beating heart and organs in the abdomen and chest. Artificially maintained circulation only creates the illusion of life. The brain dead, although their hearts beat and mechanically ventilated, does not feel anything, cannot hear, see, and has no thoughts because they are dead. All the brain functions are gone. The death of the brain is the death of the individual person as well. Brain death has clear symptoms. This way, brain death can be determined unambiguously with quite simple examinations. Among others, the lack of brainstem reflexes and inability to breathe without help. This is called brain death recognition. Afterwards, during a longer period of observation, these examinations have to be repeated. At the end of the observation period, several specialists examine the presence of the brain death symptoms together, and if they are detectable, the physicians confirm the person to be brain dead and document it. Brain death declaration is confirmation of death. 